Hello. Hi. And welcome to another video for the Otome Romance channel by Voltage. <laughs> I'm Jessica. And I'm Sarah. And uh, we're happy to be here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and we're like surrounded by all these beautiful men apparently. Yeah. We're like, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, on, I guess they're like it's a good looking. good way to spend a day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. For sure. yeah okay. So, um, yeah, we're here in Ikebukuro filming this, by the way, and it is really hot. So, yeah. So, um, if we look like we're melting, that's because we are. <laughs> but uh, no yeah, lie. camera does not lie. So, yeah. So, um, this episode is about Samurai Love Ballad Party. Right. But before we get to that, we wanted to thank you for coming to AX um, Anime Expo, of course, in LA, which you mm. may have seen us at if you attended. Um, maybe you managed to get a picture <laughs> taken with Saizo or Hotaru, mm -hmm. um, for example. Yeah. For example, yes, um, our virtual date thing or whatever, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're like photo booth pictures where you got to pose with people. Actually, we have some of those up on social media if you yeah, check out. Yeah, do please check, or no, actually, I forget I said that because I don't know if I want people seeing that. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, we, we had some fun with those. So we're fun. Yeah, you can see mm -hmm. us uh, doing some pretty ridiculous poses, but uh, yeah, we have fun. <laughs> yeah, 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 it was a good time. So we were really glad to talk yeah. to all of you that we managed to talk to and wish we could have talked yeah. to more of you that we didn't manage to talk to. Exactly. It was really, really cool meeting all of our fans because we don't get to uh, connect with you guys in person so often being mm. over here in Japan. Mm. But uh, yeah, uh, please reach out to us on social media and stuff, which we'll be talking about a bit more about later. Um, but yeah, back to Samurai Love Ballad Party. Welcome. Look at all these hot samurai dudes. Yep. Good to Very hot. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah, um. so what, what are we talking about today, Jessica? Well, um, thinking about Samurai Love Ballad Party in general, it's got a lot of different functions like battle events, story events, you can decorate your own character with lots of fashion, you can also decorate a castle and uh, in some cases um, these guys in chibi mini format will come and visit you at that castle. But I think the biggest draw and what I really want to talk about today is the characters and how awesome they are. Because so, they are indeed awesome. They're very hot, as you can all see. So let's take a look. Yes, at our very newest brand new character, which I'm really excited to bring to you. His main story is finally out as of this month, August. Yes. Okay, so who we got here? Is this Nobuyuki then? Yes, Sanada Nobuyuki. He's the Lion of Shinano, as you can see. Shinano is uh, the ancient province where they basically mm -hmm. ruled, so... Mm -hmm. um, yeah. He looks quite a lot like a certain other character. Yes, Sanada uh, Yukimura, who is his younger mm -hmm. brother. Um, mm -hmm. They are pretty much polar opposites in personality. Um, Yukimura is like, they're very energetic, very leap before you look, very... Um, he gets flustered about pretty much everything. Nobuyuki <laughs> is the opposite. Nothing ever phases Aww. him and he's full of secrets and he's... Um, some people say he's a yandere, but I wouldn't... I, I don't know if I agree with that. I think he's just that clever and that uh, two steps ahead, three uh, steps ahead of everybody. Okay. So he's, it's kind of calculating, but... It's, yes, mm. yeah, and he he's never one to just act. He, he mm. always thinks about how everybody is going to react in that situation before he does anything, and then he kind of sneaks it in there and everyone's like, whoa, what, what, <laughs> where did that come from? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. interesting. How's his, like, interaction with the MC? Like, how's his relationship there? Um, I think one big thing about the heroine for his route is she's really strong. She's fearless mm -hmm. and she has to be fearless because um, he has the future of an entire clan resting on mm -hmm. his shoulders and he needs somebody who can keep up with him, so... Um, However, he is, you know, he has his own idea of how things should go and she has other ideas of how <laughs> things should go and uh, uh, it's basically can she keep up with him, I think, mm. is the main um, draw of that story. Um, yeah, as you can see in his hobbies, when it, his, he loves reading and he loves playing the game Go, which is, you know, 
like ancient checkers kind of checkers. Or chess yeah kind of it's a little bit different but yeah similar concept okay. like if it was like a western game it would be like chess like he loves chess sort of thing so. yeah and really really big in in japan back in those days and today too there was actually a minister of go at some point wow that's <laughs> so wild to me <laughs> i'd like that job i guess yeah people yeah. used to watch it like all the time yeah. like in like Almost tournaments or events. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess like there's still just shogi here like that. I haven't really. Oh uh, yeah. I'm not big on the like go scene here, but like I do yeah. know that shogi is very like popular. It's another yeah. form of Japanese chess for those of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Exactly. But I think the main point is mm -hmm. um, the reason that go is so popular is because it showed. Um, people's ability to strategize and uh, uh, that's kind of his whole gig is yeah yeah is is knowing where like if mm. everybody else or in his entire life is a, a piece on that go mm. board then uh, he knows where they all have to go he Aww. sees the end of the game from the very beginning and, that makes yeah. sense though that I guess I can see why there would be a minister of go in that case though if like that's their way of showing off if it's kind of like they're like it's not war it's go like I, this is how I yeah. prove I'm a strong dude or whatever yeah so. exactly kind of mm -hmm. like how people do with like I guess sports in these days like can mm -hmm. be more significant than that in this case it's like oh well it's a game, yeah. but yeah, for them it was probably like one of their few ways of actually showing their power and their yeah, skills. Yeah, without actually yeah. having to bust out the swords. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was, I was a plot. Mm, I guess like your your stance on like, that might vary depending on how much you like <laughs> like swords. swords yeah, <laughs> for sure. But yeah, I, I really love the metaphor of go with Nobuyuki mm -hmm. because he's such a strategist and he's so focused mm -hmm. on the theory of battle and the theory of victory compared to, you know, actually getting out of there and stabbing at people and stuff like mm -hmm. that. It's so. a very interesting character for like the samurai world, I feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really loved translating his story. He's, I don't know, got a lot of layers going on, I suppose. It's an onion. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> totally. totally. <laughs> I feel bad, Actually, I don't know if I like that image. <laughs> Sexy onion. <laughs> oh, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, he's super handsome. He is, uh, yeah, not nicknamed a lion for a reason, I should think. But you'll have to read his story to find out why. So anything else about this route that you would like to, like, post Actually, about? yes, well, a uh, couple of things. Okay, and one more part, thing to mention about Nobuyuki's main story is we have some uh, brand, well, Yukimura's not brand new, obviously, he's been there <laughs> he's for, been around the for a while, yeah. Um, but uh, there is a new sub-character called Neza Jinpachi. Oh, he looks very serious. And He's also giant. Like my impression of him is like he's just this gigantic bear man oh, kind of thing. That's cool. like, I yeah, like yeah, those. Yeah. I like Shingen as well, so I'm I'm into that. Yeah, but mm. like Shingen always has a cool thing to say. He's always like, hey, kind of like finger guns <laughs> at you. But Jinpachi would probably just stare at you in the same situation. You'd be like, hi, and you'd be like. I don't know, that's, that's my kind of guy too though. I mean, I, I like those, as I've mentioned before, those awkward types are definitely my thing. So I, I feel like I would enjoy yes. this character. Yeah, he's really, really popular, which is why kind of why I wanted to highlight him a bit because uh, he's just this gigantic, mostly silent, <laughs> sort of taciturn bear creature who's also like really sweet, really gentlemanly Aww. and crazy awkward. <laughs> so he like leaves you like a flower and like runs down the hallway or something <laughs> before you can like accept it or something like that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I can I can see him in that situation him like leaving a flower there and you're like, okay, what is this? Thanks. And he's like, good. <laughs> and walks away and you're like, I, I don't know what happened just now. <laughs> like, uh, was that a, <laughs> are you flirting with me? Is this like a warning? <laughs> Dude, no. that's, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's cute. He, he looks, yeah, I like the short hair too. It's very, like, yeah. it's kind of a nice, sort of prim and proper, not prim and proper, but well groomed, sort of, like, serious, like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has this, like, tall, dark, and handsome thing going on for mm -hmm. sure. And he's very, very loyal to Nobuyuki. He's been Nobuyuki's agent for pretty much most of his mm -hmm. life, it seems like. 
there's this like this really amazing scene which uh, I won't spoil too much, but uh, basically he just like stares you down where he shoves like a mo like a dango or something like in his face, just like keeps eye contact and like home. <laughs> and you're like, what? what, what? <laughs> so, he's like so very quirky, uh, but yeah. yeah. I think he'll be a, a very popular guy coming up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's um, look at some of our other sub characters because we have tons and tons oh, and tons yeah. of characters. The samurai cast yes. is like insane. Yeah, it's so massive. Hello, tiny, tiny Masa Mune. Mm -hmm. There. Oh, the colors. Yeah. Yeah. So we have the main cast, which all these guys, and you can see. Over in the bottom left corner, there's Nobuyuki, and these are the Song of Radiance characters. And then we have the six Song of Shadow ninja oh, guys, cool. including adorable Hotaru and Genya. And then we have the endless supporting cast. Oh, look at all yes. those people! Whee! So many. Oh my are God. they all dateable, Jessica? Um, actually, plenty of them are. <laughs> like a surprising amount show up in stories. Um, you can see Keiji there, shows up to randomly kiss a bunch of people a lot of the time. And uh, yeah, and then in some cases they have like people's mothers and... and <laughs> so the, I'm guessing those aren't dateable though. Are they? <laughs> Hopefully not. I mean, well, I, mean I, I think that would be like maybe something we could explore, but for, for, sure. for the time being there. Yeah, not yeah, available, yeah. Yeah, we recently had our, one of our first sort of, I guess, female characters or... Mm -hmm. Gender fluid, I guess, characters to date. Oh, she had her cool. first event story recently. So. Yeah, I believe you mentioned her Kaede a little bit. Exactly. Yeah. She's very cool. Um, and I think a lot of people who played her story were like, I love her. She's so sweet. Because she's, yeah. Anyway, back to main <laughs> our sub characters, because there are so many. Um, we have some events coming up in the near future, including Hanzo, who's at the, one of the Hanzos, Kiyohiro Hanzo. Hold Long story. <laughs> How many Hanzos are there? Can we count? Pretty much everybody who works for Ieyasu is called Hanzo in some manner. So there's at least two, but I have this really strange headcanon that there's about five of them floating around or something. Mm, they'll like probably that. appear somewhere at some point. I'm sure they'll okay. be very attractive as well. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, that's, that's, <laughs> you can guarantee that they're going to be hot. <laughs> Um, yes, and there's so there's Hanzo Kiyohiro, and then there's Kotaro, who is a, a Hojo ninja. He's kind of kind of wild. Oh, nice He's a uh, very nice, like kind of yes. fashionable. Yeah, he does have really good fashion sense. For it. He's also mm -hmm. like off his actual rocker but yeah he, that's that character description sounds a bit hmm but. yes yes and first ever Konsuke hooray he's so awesome Aww. he is also a very silent taciturn sort of loyal type mm -hmm. who, I can tell by the 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 stern frown on his face exactly and his kind of his shtick is that no one actually ever sees him. He's like almost snuffle up against or something like that. <laughs> it's like it's no like, one knows he exists. Like, <laughs> single to snuffle up against. Everyone thinks Shingen's just like making him up or something. Yeah, right. like, <laughs> Absolutely. So yeah, if you, you like dating um, uh, ninjas, but from the Song of Shadows side of things, then this will be a good event to check out. Exactly. And also, yeah access these cast profiles anytime if you're like, who is this dude or who is this lady? And yeah, I did not actually know that these existed until... Good today. reference! Actually. There's so many of them! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's, there's, they're endless, endless, endless. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, you can see your little brother, Yahiko, down here. Oh, okay. And uh, your, your actual in-game mother up there. And she's a, yeah, kind of supportive I don't motherly. know. She's really motherly. sweet, motherly. She takes in, I don't know, anytime you make a friend, she pretty much is like, oh, my baby, and kind of mm. takes them in. So. That's cool. Yeah, Good I was mom. doing some uh, translation for one of the event stories a while ago, and I was like, I didn't really, I was like kind of doing it blind. I was like, what all these people look like, because we can't actually see what the images look like when we're doing the scripts. So it, it was nice to like. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, like, oh, okay, so this guy was actually really attractive, or this was actually... A Without to self. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely, yeah, there's, there are so many characters mm -hmm. in the stories, and if you ever want to know more about mm -hmm. them, check out 
the supporting cast and other cast profiles. Okay, so that was, um, what's his face? Nobody accused. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But yeah, um, his uh, main story is already out, I believe. Yeah, it will yeah. be out very soon mm -hmm. as of the time that we're filming this video, but it will definitely be out um, by mid-August. So if you're watching this at that point, which we hope you are, then do check it out. Go check it out. Yeah, um, yeah and also check us out on social media. Um, Samurai Love Ballad Party has um, Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, and we also share um, the Otome Romance Instagram. So we'd love to hear from you there. Yeah. Do check us out. Yeah, so, send us so. comments, fan art, anything like that. Okay, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.